Hello, it's Peter Canego here from Midship Cinema. Behind me is a gorgeous panel by Emanuele Luzzatti from the steamship Ausonia of 1957. You'll see her sailing as the Aegean II in this latest sailing day video taken in Piraeus in 2007. I hope you enjoy it. The first ship I captured that morning was G.A. Ferries Romilda, which was built in 1974 as the Free Enterprise 8. She was broken up at Alia in 2011. Meanwhile, Lewis Cruz's ultra-sleek Perla, originally NCL southward of 1971, basked in the sunshine at the main cruise terminal. And across the way was Hellenic Seaway's 2005-built Nisos Mykonos, which now sails as Blue Star Mykonos. And NEL Line's Theophilos, which we'll see again later, was a drop at Sona. Looking rather determined, the 1998-built Posidon Helos, which now sails for Saronic Ferries, was on her way to Aegina. The 1972-built day cruise ship Aegean Glory was laid up near the Port Police Station. In 2016, she was rebuilt as the Cosmos for Evermore Cruises and sails to the Saronic Gulf. Next to her was one of my favorites, the classic Hermes, which was built in 1956 as the Adrolinia liner Yugoslavia. She was acquired by Apiritiki Lines in 1976, renamed Hermes, and rebuilt as a day cruise ship. The last ship to sport the Apiritiki Golden Cross on her funnel, she was laid up in 2005 and was finally scrapped at Aliyah in 2012. The morning departures were about to begin, so I headed to the harbor entrance, pausing quickly to admire the Aegean II at the Piraeus main cruise terminal. And I reached the lookout point just as Lewis Cruz's Orient Queen was entering Piraeus Roads. This 1968-built beauty was actually the first ship Norwegian Caribbean Lines, now known as Norwegian Cruise Lines, had built for the U.S. cruise market. As the Starward, she helped establish NCL and remained in their fleet until 1995, when sold to Festival Cruises, who renamed her Bolero. In 2005, she was rebuilt with much larger cabins and a helipad and renamed Orient Queen. In 2006, she was bought by Lewis Cruises and subsequently renamed Lewis Aura and Aegean Queen before being scrapped at Alang in 2018. Not just my favorite ship of the day, but one of my very favorite ships of all time, Golden Sun Cruises SS Aegean II closely followed the Orient Queen on her way to Mykonos. Even with some disconcerting mismatched superstructure additions, she was still a classic Italian beauty at heart, having been built by Adriatica Lines as the Ausonia in 1957. Owned by Lewis Cruises, Aegean II was renamed Ivory the following year and retired in 2009 before sailing off to Alang for scrapping in 2010. And next up was the Ocean Monarch, which began her life as the refrigerated cargo liner Port Sydney in 1955. Bought by Greek upstart Karis Cruises in 1972, she was transformed into the state-of-the-art cruise ship Daphne. Daphne and her twin Danai, the export Melbourne, were among the most luxurious ships afloat in their heyday. They had spacious Lido's, stylish public rooms, and large comfortable staterooms. And even a few of those, six to be exact, had private balconies, which was way ahead of the curve when they debuted in 1975. After their time with Karis, they sailed for Costa, then were sold off separately to various operators. 
Daphne became the Switzerland in 1997 and then Ocean Monarch in 2003. At this time, she was sailing for short-lived Monarch Classic cruises and the following year, she would become Princess Daphne. She was scrapped at Alang in 2014. Next up was Lewis Cruz's latest acquisition, Cristal, which replaced the Sea Diamond, which sank at Santorini just three months earlier. Cristal had a checkered early career, which began as the Fairy Viking Saga in 1980. In 1986, she was rebuilt as a Sally Albatross, then destroyed by fire in 1990 and partially scrapped and then once again rebuilt. In 1995, she began a five-year charter for NCL as the Leeward. She would then sail for Star Cruises and Cilia Line before becoming Cristal. In 2014, Lewis rebranded itself into Celestial Cruises and the ship became Celestial Cristal and sails on happily to this day. And last up, built in Japan in 1990, the Nefeli operated for Hellenic Seaways until 2012 when she became the Spanish ferry La Galera. In the outer harbor of Canelos was the 2000-built Grand Voyager, which has been in Chinese hands since 2014 as the Chinese Taishan. And right across from the Grand Voyager was our sleek home for the next week, Monarch Classic Cruises Blue Monarch, the former renaissance of 1966. Once aboard, we captured yet more Piraeus sailings and arrivals. Just a few months old when this footage was shot, the Nisos Kios was transferred to Blue Star Ferries in 2020 and now sails as the Blue Star Kios. During our boat drill, the Grand Voyager left on an Aegean cruise. And now it was Theophilos' turn to depart. Before the addition of a boxy block of cabins on her stern, the 1972-built ferry, originally TT Line's Nils Holgersen, was actually an attractive ship. After four years in layup, she was scrapped at Aliyah in 2022. Annan Line's 1975 built Myrtidiotisa was off to the Peloponnese that afternoon. Originally the Japanese ferry Moroto, she is now called Alexandra L and is laid up at Drapetsona. Hellenic Seaway's 1997 built Artemis was just returning from the Saronic Gulf as the Blue Monarch began maneuvering. The 1959 built day cruise ship Georgis would suffer a grounding off Poros in March of 2008. Just behind her, the Anthe Marina was preparing to depart Drapetsona. As Blue Monarch entered Piraeus Roads, we encountered Minoan Line's impressive Festos Palace. Built in 2001, she was renamed Kidon Palace in 2020 and currently sails between Piraeus and Chania on Crete. Now operating in Venezuela is the Paraguana 1, the racy little speedrunner 2 was built in 1996. With quite a bone in her teeth, the Blue Star Naxos looked impressive as she overtook Blue Monarch while we made course for Istanbul. The Naxos currently sails between Piraeus, Santorini, and Crete. While no one could possibly mistake the Anthe Marina for being attractive in the least, this interesting GA ferry began her career in 1980 as the spirit of free enterprise. She was scrapped at Aliyah in 2012. And this concludes a fascinating day of ships in and off Piraeus. Thank you again for joining me, and please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already done so.